A great wine is one that when you smell it, there's a little bit of that story that's coming back to you. And then when you actually taste it, it's that balance. And when you swallow, you just sit back and then you just, wow. Wine is not the end product of some industrial process. Wine is produce from a farm. Everything that I take note of in the wine can always be related straight back to what happened in the vineyard during that vintage. If you're working the land, you're pretty much not home from sunrise to sundown. I have to stay here or I have to get up early because we're farming, we're picking, we're pressing, and it has been a constant challenge to get a balance between the mom, the woman, and the winemaker. My family deserves a gold medal, you know, for putting up with my lifestyle. It's pretty obvious to the Canadian wine consumer that there's not a lot of places where you can actually make wine in Canada. And those few places that do grow vinifera grapes and make premium wines, it is challenging. A lot of things can go wrong at every time of the winemaking process. And then we have to nurture those babies, those little barrels for sometime a year, sometime 24 months. My day is so varied. I don't think that I know of any vocation where you have to do so many things. The decisions start on you know, planting the grapes and the decisions end basically on releasing the wine uh, ready for sale. That guy that has like seven balls and juggling, that's us. <laughs> A good winemaker has to be honest because you can't get away with shortcuts. You've got one shot at everything. You start pruning and then everything along the line, you have to do it to adapt to what Mother Nature is giving you, but there's only one way you can go back. And the same for picking. If you've got one shot at picking date, if you wait too long or you pick too early, then that's it. You have to wait another year. That's a winemaking lifestyle, that's a farming lifestyle. That's, um, that's what has to be done. Uh, because if it's not done, um, we're out of business. As soon as you think you know it all along comes another vintage. Every vintage that I've worked here has produced a substantially different wine. You know, it's a bit frustrating because you think, God, <laughs> I've got to figure this out again. But on the other hand, intellectually, it's really interesting. There's no recipe, so you cannot sit back on what you've learned the year before. You always have to make that next step. I learned something, I'm going to mix it up, and I'm going to learn something more. What I love about my job is the challenge. It's, it's not boring, so. The beautiful thing about wine is that slight imperfections, and I'm not talking about faults here, but slight imperfections can actually make the wine even more perfect. I love winemaking because I love taking all those different parts of what the vineyard is giving me and I love to create that little painting in my head. What's good is never boring. There's always something different and then we get to create something different every year. Fresh, refreshing, pristine, unspoilt. All of these words describe the fruit from the trees. They describe the wines that we're growing and, and drinking. These are all qualities that define British Columbia wines.